Yep. Uh, perfect timing for it. Actually, I was in that really bad room. Felt the shock. Breaking Bad next month, relaxing? Take you down one limb at a time if I have to! You get AMC over there? Or the equivalent? that went on the set during while it was filmed and he was like interviewing people and stuff and he said all this stuff back in February and the teasers that have been coming out recently have been like backing that up. You should subscribe to this one guy. I'm subscribed to him. He does these montages for TV shows where he gets these like really good songs and he makes like the perfect montages. He made this one recently with like all it was like this country song and normally I don't like country. But like he had, oh, it was perfect editing on the montage. It was like about Walden Hank and stuff, and Jesse was there too. And it showed like the new footage actually. They had. Um, no, I don't. I don't think it's steel. I think he just bought the DVDs and has all the clips. He doesn't really care about that. I don't think. Or, AMC. Oh, no, no, no. There was just some from the teasers. No, dude. The episode... I actually saw this thing on Twitter. I don't understand how you get to the level of where you're a critic, but someone actually got a DVD for the first episode of, you know, the final eight. Like, right now. They got it today, and they're going to watch it tonight. But, but, like, why do they get it a month in advance? Like, why do they need a month to review the episode? I mean, come on. Like, we could watch it in one take and t say whether it's good or bad. We already know it's going to be good. Yep, yep. These final eight are gonna be insane. Yep. The wire is the only thing that beats it. In like maybe one other show. Yep. Like they they nail the drama in so many ways. I've been rewatching it a lot this summer and all the seasons. And like, every time you watch it, you notice something new. Like, I love it when TV shows are that good. Or like, there's so much foreshadowing people talk about, too. Oh. Maybe I should swap to my secondary. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna buy some A and ammo quickly. My primary is empty, but what of my secondary? Did you ever watch Homeland? Yeah. Another really good show. Season oh, season three is gonna be. I know, dude. Season two had an intense ending. I didn't see that coming. The way it ended, like I really didn't see that coming. Like, oh, and it, it fits so perfectly with that tape as well. They released of him because you know how at the end of the first season he was gonna do it, but then he changed his mind. But there's still that tape, and now he's like the, you know, supposed terrorist. I love that show. I love that actor too, the guy that plays Soul. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there was that other sniper guy in the first season, that black dude. The, the other guy, um, cause like, two agents have been turned. No, no, Brody killed him or whatever. And normally I don't... He killed him in that alleyway, I remember, cause like, the main bad guy, I think the main bad guy killed himself at the end, or he did something, but now he's dead and there's like someone else new. Cause the first two seasons were all about that... What was his name? Abu Nazir or something? Like, that was the main guy they were trying to get the whole time. And now there's like a new baddie or something. That's right, he was totally surrounded. I remember that, you know. It's kind of insane how many characters they killed in season 2 at the end. Like, they blew up a building full of important people. Like, I guess it, I read in the new season that like Saul and that other chick are gonna be like the main people of the CIA now. It's like literally everyone was there. And I think like a, pr a vice president or something. I forget who was all there. I mean, yeah, I don't know a lot about, I don't, yeah, I don't see my government in action that much, or like, you know, if I were in the CIA, that'd be interesting. It's still, yeah, it's a great show. Oh, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrie, I think? Yeah, she's got that thing going on. If she doesn't take her medicine, she like loses it. I... Yeah, it does. I definitely like that. The end of season one was so depressing as well. Because like Brody got away and she was in the crazy place. She was in the loony bin. But then there was that moment in season two where like she arrested him and stuff. Like I was, I like, you know, did a little like fist in the air. I was like, fuck yeah. I had that coming. Yep. Oh, that was really intense too when he broke that guy's neck and he was talking to his wife and he had to go to some dinner and he totally missed it. And then there was that thing in that like, um, that little small town near the end of season one where they went there. And then in like, there was that shootout in that one place. I can't remember exactly, but there's some crazy shit. In there. I don't know. 
I mean, you know, there can always be... They might try and go back after the president or this or that. But with those kind of shows, they just keep going until it gets bad. I mean, the Dexter is about to end now, and it's had some bad seasons. But overall, it's a good show. The Homeland's had every good season so far. Are you watching it? Yep. Yeah, I've watched them all. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I thought Dr. Vogel would be more of a threat to him. Like, she was going to expose him or something. But she's like his mom. For Dexter it has the weirdest, like, incestual, like, relationships with people. Like, his sister is in love with him. His dad did whatever he did with him. I don't know. I was hoping that, well, like, I don't know, before season 7 or 8 even aired, I read that those were going to be the last two seasons a couple years ago. I was really hoping someone, like, someone would figure Dexter out. But every time that happens, they either don't want to turn him in or they die. I don't know. I just hope, like, it comes out in the end who he is. Because I don't think it will, though. I think it'll end like Weeds, where everything's just happy and Dexter goes on being Dexter. But, like, you don't want that ending. Like, he deserves to die. There's really no point to holding this. No, he wasn't. Yeah. You think Deb's gonna die? Yeah, it's about to end. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think what killing Deb would accomplish. I mean, it would clear up Dexter's. Basically, all of Dexter's problems, because this whole season, Deb is the main problem. But I kind of hope Quinn, I really liked it early on in season 5 and stuff, and season 4 and 3 when, like, Quinn didn't like Dexter, and they kind of had their powwows. He was kind of like, the, he was the new Dokes, because right after Dokes died, he came in, and, like, now that now that um, Deb told uh, him that she killed LaGuerta, maybe that will, like, re-spark it a bit or something. I hope it does, honestly, because I, I like Quinn. I think he could do some serious damage if he tried, but now he's just screwing that one chick and being Batista's bitch. He was just a pissed off black guy. Yeah, I liked it though. I, I mean, I liked it. He was definitely a good character, you know? I mean, from the very beginning, he had it out for Dexter. And like, I liked that a lot, actually. I liked the first two seasons. I think season two and four are my favorites. Four is obviously the best, Trinity, but two is still super good. How many times have you guys done power-up cycles? Yeah, you have to move him away from it. Dreams of you. Oh no. Yeah, like it says, give candy or it doesn't let you do it when he's right beside. He's in a weird spot. I'm in there.
glitched out. here on the right in that room. on Netflix. It's like a new modern day version of Sherlock, but the guy that plays Sherlock, he's just like one of those really good protagonists that's really interesting and plays his character really well. He's kind of like, he's kind of like Dexter, except, well no, he's not like Dexter at all. Like the concept of it basically being one badass guy and then like everything else is good. Everything else is okay, but Sherlock is the main dude. It's like the mentalist or something. Way better. Way better. Uh, I've seen it, you know, just, it's like one of those, you know, TV dramas, crime dramas, but, um, no, it's like, it's like The Mentalist on crack, and everyone has British accents, and, uh, the greedy episodes are super intense, all the ones with Moriarty. It was actually pretty crazy, finally, what they do. Yeah, it's weird with that show, there's only six episodes in both seasons, or overall there's six episodes. There's three in each season, but the way it works is they're 90 minute episodes. So it's actually pretty, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Mini movies, kind of. But, the, but like, all the plots come together. Like, half of the episodes are more, well, actually not half, but two of the episodes are basically about one dude and uh, all the crazy things he does, and then the other ones all are connected with him. Sons of Anarchy, Tranos, Game of Thrones. I need to watch that, but I just I have a hard time getting into that show. So much background plot to it and lore and stuff. based off books, but then they went in a way different direction right after the first season. Weird, in the Dexter books, in the Dexter books, he was more like demonic, like he said the dark passenger was like an evil soul within him, and then like, you remember Rita's kids, Cody and, uh, I, I don't remember the other one, but I guess Cody is like Dexter in that, yeah, Aster and Cody. 
I wonder what's gonna happen to them too, how they're gonna play. I don't know. Yeah, Dexter's gonna teach them the code and they're all gonna be a little serial killer family. Can you imagine though, like, having the job as a writer for like a show like Breaking Bad or Dexter, any shows like that? Like, because you're basically getting paid to use your imagination, but, like, to the highest degree. Like, oh, man, that must be such a hard job to do. They, yeah, I don't know. They must love it, though. I mean, to come up with, like, yeah, especially... I got something yeah. for you. Yeah. Oh god. So many bad shows. There's so many just face palm. Why is this a thing? Like, I wonder if some of these shows, I'm trying to think of some, but like some shows that are legitimately bad, I wonder if, when, like, at the time of them making the show, they realize it's bad. Like, yeah, the show sucks. But... Oh yeah, even the actors in it, like, they're not, they're not proud of their work. You know, that's like anything in real life. Like, if you're not proud of something, you don't want to show it off to everyone. But with TV shows, that's the exact point of them. I think I've heard of it. There's some really crappy dramas on uh, ABC. There's like, there was Desperate Housewives. Well, I guess that wasn't crappy, but you know, it doesn't appeal to us. But there's like some retarded shows where it's like fairy tales in real life and like just silly stuff. Ridiculous concepts. It, it's not for children, though. It's supposed to be for adults, but it's just, oh. And some of the, those, like, girly-ass shows, like, that's all about drama and stuff, like 90210, Vampire Diaries, all those, like, overly feminine shows that are just about, like, a bunch of girls and, like, a hot guy and some stupid-ass drama. I hate it in shows when the people are stupid, like, when they make stupid decisions. Like, when that's not realistic, that's usually, like, a deal-breaker. Like they Did can't I be stupid main right? characters. Yeah, I've heard about that show. On HBO. Yeah, it's like one bad decision after the other. You guys don't know where the SVU is at? Um, it is... It's in the church. Oh no, it's not in the church, it's in the uh, diner. All of you maintain it's in a where Slot of Hand is. is at all times. I don't even like this thing. Oh yep. Yeah. There's a movie like that from the 80s called Trolls 2 or 3, one of the two. But it's literally the worst movie of all time. I don't know if you've seen, like, a lot of stuff from the 80s, but you know how acting in the 80s was really cheesy and, like, not that deep? Yeah, it, it, it's like that on crack. Look it up. It, it has so many ridiculous one-liners, and the whole movie isn't even acting. They're just reading the lines. There's no emotion whatsoever in what they say. And when there is emotion, it's over the top and just totally unrealistic. So funny, though. Yep, that, yep, that was it with uh, the guy and the witch and stuff. And he's like, oh no, you killed him, now you're gonna kill me! And like, oh god. Comical. Oh, yep. Super squeaky, hi, Summer! That stuff. Yeah, Japan thinks it's some pretty crazy shit. Nah. Oh yeah, 
because that's the that's the main feature I'm looking for. A better way to watch TV because I really didn't need that. I don't know, man. I don't. I I watched the Xbox unveiling and stuff. I missed all of E3. I was on a cruise. I still overall don't. I I missed a lot of E3. I didn't see the presentations or anything. But uh, I'll probably get the Xbox One and. I probably won't do any of that crap though. I wonder if on the Xbox One you can play with Xbox gamers. I doubt it. Like 360 people? Like, will everyone be in the same server on Ghost? And like, if I- Oh, you know what? That's right, it's not backwards compatible. That's fucking stupid. I'm not happy about I thought that. They, uh, I thought they changed some stuff so that it is. They changed use games policies. Uh, they, oh my god, they had such a bad policy when they announced it. Like everyone hated it. Like they they had mad hate. And then at E3, Sony made fun of them with those commercials and stuff. Like here's how to play a used game. And then it showed the guy giving him the game by handing it to him. And like the way it worked on Xbox was, like put the game, you buy a new game, you put it in your Xbox, and then there's like a one-time thing where that disc will only work on your Xbox, and if you take the disc anywhere else and try and use it in a different Xbox, it won't work. And like, all this other annoying, trolly stuff they did just to make more money, when they're already super fucking rich. I mean, it's goddamn Windows, you know? Microsoft. They're not going bankrupt anytime soon, you know? Like, if they go bankrupt, the world's essentially ending. Yeah, really. Well, yeah. I mean, they didn't say why it would be better for gamers. Like, that's what they need to sell to us on why it would be a good idea. Instead, they just said, here are these new policies you're going to have to obey if you want to be on Xbox Live. And everyone hated them. But, yep. Yeah, Sony fucked the goat last time. Now Microsoft is taking its turn. Yeah, they made the PlayStation Plus. Yeah, because before I think PlayStation Plus was just always there, but now you have to buy it, but buying it is so worth it anyway. But like, I guess Xbox Live is now doing that where you get two free games a month. But like, you can get Assassin's Creed 2 for free right now, but you know, it's so dumb. They just tried to copy Sony and it's just Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's American. Yeah, that sucks ass. But Sony probably gives it worldwide because Sony is a Japanese-based company. So... Nope. Yeah, that's insane. Battlefield 3, that's such a big-name title. How are you not dead, Nubby? That's insane footage right there. Like, four zombies were on top of you. That's it, I think. Oh yeah, you can just fly over. We have to go around. Out in the struggle. Hey, player! Switch weapons! Make it to 40 doing this, that'd be pretty good. Maybe someone around here likes the sweet stuff. And you're not even using the paralyzer yet. Like nope. I'm gonna go upgrade my SVU, so some ghosts come look out. Uh, let's get a max ammo first. Alright. Uh, I'm just putting my money away, I'll start doing that in a minute. Can we both deposit? No. Oh, okay. Yeah.
foolish? I'm trusting that this will be safe here. Is that foolish? Yeah, I really wish overall in Black Ops 2 what they had done, because I guess they took the approach and the the concept, like, I think they thought people wanted the, the whole idea to make, like, a save game and keep your guns and money, but I wish they'd done some kind of rank-up system, like a way better one than what they did. You can, like, prestige like, and zombies, and it, 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 some, something like that, and you can, like, almost have a class. I bet you that's what they're going to do in the next one, create a class for zombies. I think it'd be cool, like, if you prestige a certain amount of time, you get, like, a different starting pistol, or you start with a different melee weapon or something. Yeah, that's what I always imagined. I mean, and even little things like customizing your character, I think people would like that a lot, to have a dope-ass-looking zombie character. Or you could, like, customize, like, heads and bodies from, like, all the different characters, and have, like, the chick with, like, a Rick Tofkin head or something. Like, people would really like that crap. And you could, like... Yeah, and then you can, like, customize your catchphrases depending on which map you want them from, or... Yeah, you could do a lot of cool stuff with that. They could even keep it out and make it so you can buy a DLC for your character and stuff. Oh, yeah, microtransaction away. I think what they... yeah. Yeah, they just need to listen to us. Like, we know how to make them money. For Black Ops 3, though, if they really... Like, if they do what they did again on Black Ops 3 for zombies, like, where they just totally fucked up in the beginning, I, I think I think that's going to be... I hope they don't do that again. I hope they wise up, and they do something like that, or they make... You know, since it's going to be next-gen, maybe we'll finally have the ability to make our own maps in a custom thing, and then, like, put them online for others to use, you know? Like, basically, like, the Halo 3 system with Forge, but for zombies. That's what they need to announce. That would get people's attention. Would you like some of this? Good tools, by the way. Not some crappy ass. Yeah, it probably would be super skimpy. Oh, nice. Like, yeah, give us access upgrade. to all the perks. Um, like, that'd be cool to... You can make... Like, honestly, if they did that, we would be we would be good forever, because they wouldn't need to make new maps. We could just make our own. That's oh no, true. there'd be those, there'd be those really nerdy kids that remake, like, the Reese, and they would never have to make a DLC for it, and they'd lose money, probably. Like, the remakes, you know? Like, everyone would just make their own. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no, I have an idea. So, for the incentive for people to still buy DLC if there's a Forge in Black Ops 3, what they do is, like, let's say this new map introduces this new perk. Well, now you can use that perk on all the other maps if you buy that DLC. Yeah, and, and the wonder, you can customize what's in the box. Like, there's so much to do there, and people would love that shit. That's what they need to do. That's innovation. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, I need to work at Treyarch. You imagine like bonus characters, like getting fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger as a bonus character or something yeah. ridiculous. And like I that. and I feel like the people that go to Treyarch right now that are from the YouTube community, I don't think they're they're pitching any of that to them. Like I think just the fact that they're at Treyarch, they're kind of fanboying, and just the fact that they're at Treyarch, they're they're not really going to talk smack to them or say what they need to do. But if I was there, I would just go straight up give it to them how it is. I've been playing zombies since day one. Here's what you need to do. Don't ever make a Black Ops 2 transit again. Yeah, they're just poster boys, man. Just the fact that they're going to Treyarch, they don't care. Oh, wait, you're not back yet. Oh, but yeah, you are. I guess, like, Syndicate and a couple others went there for, like, all day and played, like, a week before it came out or something. So, like, on day one, they had... A yeah, I know, man. You know how much money they're making from that? The dollars? That's at least 100k from going to Treyarch, just by knowing stuff. Knowledge is power, bro. Knowledge is power. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, they got a dope-ass setup at Treyarch. They have a bunch of LAN things going, and like... It's cool to talk with developers and stuff like that.
wonder what expectations we have for COD Ghosts and the uh, Bible thing, if any. I think it's uh, on this map. There's like glitches, like this randomly go off sometimes. Those lights. Oh, when you picked up max ammo, you got something. Do you have it set up where the chat can hear us? I think you do. He was a monster. I like your attitude towards it. Like, if you don't like it, just leave. But, like, every other YouTuber's like, oh no, I'll meet your every demand, subscriber. Subscribe to my videos, make me. Yup. You aren't in America. Or you, you know, like London, you don't have the greatest internet. I think where Tabes lives, where was that? Sweden, I think? Sweden has super good internet. Heard that. You out in like the middle of nowhere. Uh, is that like miles? No, you use the metric system because we're silly Americans. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's not, it's like a half an hour away, a little less. City. gonna do when we play the Maxis game? If ever do that? I kind of want to do it, honestly. I think Doris, Die Rise might be a little bit annoying for the Easter egg, but other than that, not too bad. Yeah, you just get power-ups way, way more. Like, it goes from four round to like, like maybe... 20 or something ridiculous because every time you see a blue eyed zombie that's Rick Tofkin and then you get a power up and plus the way it works with Maxis is you get all the perks permanently I think actually the Maxis easter egg is better like I think that I don't know maybe the fire sale thing is really cool yeah Pretty much. I mean, how many good guns do you really need? You need Colts and a ray gun and you know, maybe one other gun, but a fourth gun at that point is just for kill. I 
think it should be near the end. I'm out of ammo and everything. comes out. I still haven't actually gotten it from the box once. I've never used it. I've seen enough gameplay to know what it is, but yeah. I just don't hit the box ever. No. I would just make the rounds go slower. Get the pocket thunder guns, those make it go even faster. Ain't gonna hurt to keep this candy handy. Oh, yeah, if we start the rounds using those. Yep. That's like literally easy mode, though, because you just sit there and do nothing until the fan breaks. But on the later rounds, the later rounds, I think they don't last as long, so. You have four of them. <laughs> Other weapons locked and loaded. Yep. In the key. You think they made this intentionally, the max ammo thing? I don't think they did. I don't know. Maybe they did. Hard to call. Cause like, like. Um. I don't ever want to admit that they're right or smart or they had a plan all along. I refuse to believe that. Well, they made us pay 5000 for Max Ammo's on Moon, so... Yeah, but that was like, you had the hacker. That was intentional. But was this? Did I put the key in? Oh, no, I didn't. I'm a retard. You got them from the QEDs, that's right. Yeah, the QED was insane. You could get so many different things from it. They need to make more things like the QED. They need to make some kind of gun that is like the equivalent of the QED where it's totally random. Sometimes it'll be really good, and other times it'll be crap. But it'll, like, just... Yeah, they need to make, like, a crazy gun that doesn't work right all the time. But it can be super good in certain situations. Yep. I just had this crazy idea for a gun in my head. Like, a gun that changes shape. Like, it constantly morphs from, like, gun to gun. Like, one second it's a thunder gun, then a couple seconds later it turns into a waffle or something. Gun and game, it's constantly gun style. <laughs> it, yeah, it's just, like, constantly cycling itself. But it's, like, starts... It, yeah, you get, like, a little ball of, like, you know, glowing power from the box. And then it just constantly cycles. That would be a cool gun. Ooh. Yup. But it like takes a second to morph, so you're vulnerable. So you can't just sit in the corner all day. Mm, oh, yep, yep. Occasionally we'll get a bad gun. God. Like, I think, I feel like one day we're gonna see these ideas, because I'm pretty sure there's stuff we've already called that ended up coming true. The zombies on the moon. What about my second? I'll get it. Well, this hit the spot. I'm gonna already get the key. Yeah, we we did it a couple times. Yeah, like that. I don't. I don't. I'm at the register. I I got it. Oh, I don't have a thousand points. That's why. Yep. Quicker. 
Less time wasted. There you go, big fella. After you consume this, I trust you will. Oh, 6 a.m. Yeah, it's, it's 6.30 right now in the afternoon. Oh, it just filled my bank up again. Yeah, that'd be sweet if you could use a credit card, like use the nav cards on a credit card and you could pay it back after. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that's actually a good idea. You don't have, you have zero points, but you have the option to buy stuff now, and but like, it costs you like, like have more a, money. You have like a, yeah. a timer in the bottom of your screen, if you don't pay it, you go down or something. Maybe. Some kind of, yeah. I like the idea of having zero points and still being able to buy stuff. That'd be cool. Andy. Yes, coming to zombies. If you don't have enough points for Juggernaut? Well, for 100 Microsoft points, you can now. Yeah, that'd be a, that would be like that'd be a steal. Oh. My friend on his Xbox account, he somehow has one Microsoft point. Like, he's got, you know, a, a random number of whatever, but he'll have one Microsoft point. I got you. Did you lose all your gun tabs? Or did you only lose one? Um, I didn't lose any. Weird. I got built in Tombstone, so... Oh. Oh, so you, didn't, you only lost one perk, right? Yeah, I only lost quick revive. Oh, that's dope. But now if you go down again, would you lose everything? No, uh, if you go down, you just lose. You keep losing perks until you have none. Really? How do you lose the, that perk then? I don't even know. I just got it randomly and I've never lost it, so... People say you have to buy four perks before round four, but I didn't do anything. I've done I just that. randomly got it. Yeah, that's my couple of my friends were saying they've tried it, it didn't work. I don't know. Got this we're even a thing. The zombies just die around you, that's right. So useful. You need to have some kind of nuke power up, where for like 10 seconds straight, it constantly nukes the map. So every time zombies spawn in, they instantly die. That'd be cool. And like, um, you know when you're, uh, what's its face? Like, it's like the nuke noise, basically. You know when you're on Area 51 on Moon, and like the siren goes off? They should have that siren playing. While it goes off a bunch. Like, uber nuke. I still wish they'd done all the, the custom match stuff in Black Ops. Oh, I got you. I didn't. Dry, I lost Flopper. Yeah, still got all my guns. Our initial theory that there was going to be like custom match with a bunch of settings you could do, like low gravity, paintball guns. 
All the World at War death cards, if those were in this. Yeah, very little. It was really half-assed. And now on these maps, you can't customize anything, so... Really, overall, not much of a custom games option. The only benefit is you can just join back if someone dies. Flags out. that organized we're all just kind of shooting we could probably do this way more efficiently but I really don't care I think we'll get by I think that's what's known as small mercy yeah I'm leaving this here I don't even like the damn Yeah, it's doing that thing where it stops for a bit and trolls you, and then you think it's over. I should really keep you. Even oh, oh. I just... I did fall for it, wow. You have to go out just far enough to the point where they can kill you to find out. Oh, wow, I see what you're doing with that sniper halves. Yeah, that's a good idea. Could I maybe switch to a gun that is loaded? When they're frozen, he just snipes them. Alright, now that's it. No? I don't have my TV, TV volume up, so I don't really know. Getting down from my own flash damage. That's The gun basically it slows down time to kill the zombies, but it also slows down the round a bunch. Console lag. 
lag. Uh oh, I think I think I'm getting the super special console lag. Maybe I'm not. Oh yeah, I think I got it now. Getting that really hard console lag right now, so I can't do anything. Suppose if I keep saving, ain't causing any damage with this. I'm still getting it for some reason. I, I might randomly just get killed by one. Oh, now it's over. I don't think so. We can just get, uh, we can just get Leroy to do it. Can this head chopper kill you? Yep. <laughs> it's funny with the mango, we have like four of everything set up and it was basically a death trap if you had to go around or else you'd instantly go down. Really? It was funny too, we had one of our guys go down like a bunch of times because the trample steam would trample steam him back into him every time we get him up. Epic. Yeah, I was doing it with a couple friends. I'm gonna take the zombie, I gotta text someone on the phones. Come on, machine, let's go woodcut! He's in the bank, but I got the candy, so... or take him to the bank. Sitting here for years. Uh, 
You want the sweet stuff, don't you? I think we just need to build the turbine on the resonators. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 